Hello, everybody. Very, very, very important lesson. Every single regions asks one two-point question on this, and it's related to other very commonly asked questions. I can identify sequences of rigid motions by checking for orientation. <clears throat> if the orientation is the same, it will be a rotation. If the orientation is different, it will be a line reflection and then translating. I'm not going to pull myself up and show you the whole orientation thing again. I'm going to say this. If the orientation, so we're going to start by checking for orientation. Check for orientation. If it is the same, it can't be a reflection. So it will be a rotation followed by a translation. If the orientation is different, then there must be a reflection followed by a translation. And again, when I say reflection, line reflection. So we just did this lesson. However, we just did it multiple choice. Now we're doing an open response, so the process is a bit different. Number one, I want to describe a sequence of rigid motions that would map ABC onto ABC double prime. So the way we did it with multiple choice, we basically just eliminated choices. There are no choices to eliminate here. So we check for orientation. A, B, C, that is going counterclockwise. A, B, C. That is going clockwise. The orientation is different. Therefore, it must be a reflection. So, I am going to use geometric common sense. I'm going to kind of clear the screen so I can see more clearly. I need to get ABC onto ABC double prime. So, I'm looking at CB. CB is a horizontal line. Here, CB is a horizontal line. If I reflect it over the, it's a horizontal line on top. So this line's on top for both. If I reflect it over the x-axis, it would look something like that. I'm sorry, it would look something like, it would look something like this. The flat piece would be on the bottom. If I reflect it over the y-axis, then it would look more appropriate. So I'm going to start by reflecting. Reflect ABC over the y-axis. Now I'm going to do the reflection. So I'm going to count to what I'm reflecting over. One, two, one, two. That's going to be C prime, B prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's B prime, A prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Technically, you could just do one point. You don't have to do all of them, but I'd rather do all of them. So now, what do you have to do to get onto ABC double prime? Well, it's got to go down 2 down, two, down, two. So I'm going to write followed by a translation, down, two. And that's it. If the orientation is different, I'm going to reflect it first. Use geometric common sense as far as which axis you're going to reflect over. And then you translate the rest of the way. Number... Two, describe a sequence of transformations that will map triangle ABC onto triangle DEF. Well, same thing. We check for orientation. So we've got ABC that is going clockwise. We've got DEF that is going counterclockwise. The orientation is different. Therefore, there must be a reflection. Orientation different. Reflection. 
So I'm going to use geometric common sense in order to get ABC onto DEF. So it's kind of the opposite here. So the flat piece is on the bottom. Here are the flat piece is on the top. So in order to get it that way, I need to reflect over the x-axis. So I'm going to reflect ABC, reflect ABC over the x-axis. I'm going to do it. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's A prime. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's B prime. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's C prime. And now I'm going to translate the rest of the way. I feel like C to F is the easiest to see. One, two, three, four, five, six to the right. Followed by a translation. Six units to the right. And it could be two directions. It's not going to always be a translation in one direction. It just worked out these two examples were one direction, but it could be like six right and three down. It doesn't necessarily have to be in one direction. It can be in two directions. Let's take a look at number three. Check for orientation. I've got A, B, C. That is going clockwise. I've got D, E, F. That is going clockwise. The orientation is the same. If the orientation is the same, it can't be a line reflection. It's got to be a rotation. But it's obviously not just a translation. And like from the last lesson, we would say, well, it could be a double reflection. Keep it simple, okay? If it is a, if the orientation is the same, it will be a rotation followed by a translation. If it's different, it will be a line reflection followed by a translation. So, geometric common sense. Please excuse the interruption. So, geometric common sense. I need to get ABC onto DEF. So, the question is how many degrees and which direction? Being how, like, the long piece is vertical here, and now it's horizontal, it's got to be 90 degrees. Because if it was 180 degrees and it was upside down, it would still be vertical. And that 90 degrees is going this way, which is clockwise. So it's going to be 90 degrees clockwise. Now, which we did in a previous lesson, it's easiest to use one of the vertices, one of the points on the shape, as the center of rotation. It doesn't matter which, I'm going to use B. So, what it's going to look like, like, this is a very rough sketch. I just, you don't have to do this, but just so you can kind of follow along there. When I rotate it 90 degrees, centered at B, it's going to look something like that. You don't have to draw it in, but I think you seeing that will help you more clearly see what's going on. So, I am going to rotate ABC 90 degrees clockwise centered at B. You need to be very specific, and we did this in a previous lesson with rotations. I need to know the degrees, the direction, and the center. Now, what do I need to do to get this triangle onto that triangle? Well, it, I did a rough sketch, but I know that B is still going to be here. B needs to map onto E, and if you're not sure, B is the second letter, so E has to correspond to it. So to get from B to E, I'm going 1, 2, 3 right, 1, 2, 3, 4 down. Followed by a translation, three right, and four down. Now, there is more than one correct answer to this. We could have centered it at A or C, and if I centered it at A or C, then the translation would have been different. So there's more than one correct answer for these. As long as your sequence gets it on there, that's all that matters. So if the orientation is the same, I do a rotation. 
geometric common sense as far as which direction and how many degrees. And it can either be 90, really it can be 90 or 180. Um, so it's just figuring out which of those is going to be and make sure you include a center of rotation, which must be, which I want you to do as a point on the graph. If you're a student from another school watching this, your teacher may have you use the origin. I, I think this is much easier than using the origin, but there are different ways to do it. Let's do one more. Put a lot of practice problems onto this lesson. It's very important. Check for orientation. A, B, C. That is going counterclockwise. D, E, F. That is going counterclockwise. The orientation is the same. Therefore, it's going to be a rotation. So, geometric common sense. I see the long flat piece is horizontal. Oops, I see the long flat piece is horizontal. I see the long flat piece is horizontal. Since they're both horizontal, it can't be 90. It would have to be 180. So, I'm going to rotate it 180. It doesn't matter which point I use as a center, but I want you to use one that's on the triangle. So, I'm going to use A. So, I am going to rotate ABC 180 degrees. Now, you have to say clockwise or counterclockwise. Even though 180 is the same both ways, you still need to incorporate a direction. Clockwise, center, at A. Now, in the previous question, I kind of did a rough sketch of what it's going to look like. You really don't have to. I want you to see it for the first time, um, but you really don't need to. A is going to map onto D. So now all you need to know is how to get A to D. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2. Followed by... The translation, 6 right and 2 down. And that's it. So, it's really not that hard of a lesson. It's not super simple. You have to know a couple things. Always, always, always check for orientation first. If it's the same orientation, it's going to be a rotation followed by a translation like we did here. Um... If it, the orientation is different, then it's going to be a reflection followed by a translation, which again we did there. So definitely practice, practice, practice this, and uh, you're almost guaranteed to see this on your geometry readings exam. See ya!